Well, days after Irma, authorities finally reopened all the roads leading to Key West. Residents returning for the very first time to see what's left of their homes. For many, though, it is a return to ruins. Our crew in the Keys found one couple living in a home that was crushed by Irma. There are now sounds of life, signs of life in Key West, but the caravan in the Keys is now closed due to a curfew. For those in some of the hardest hit areas, the first hand look at the devastation you can imagine was just heartbreaking. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is joining us live from Key West tonight with their stories. Janine. Andrew Cheyenne, this is the distribution center where so much food and water is going to people who need it. And there's one thing a little different about tonight. The power is starting to come back on. As you can see, we're getting ready to get up and running and you know, you can't let a storm beat you down. Some signs of life on Duval Street. Business owners and locals who sling the cocktails are now coming back. Most of them are like driving back right down right now. Earlier on Stock Island, the little some people had there is now gone. My yacht is gone, my two dinghies, a small boat, gone. I don't have nothing. But as we were about to leave the Island Life trailer park there, this happened. He's inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Neighbors tell us inside this crushed house we thought was abandoned are two people. We looked through, through the door and there's somebody inside. Oh my gosh. Hello? Hi. Hi. How are you? This is Joy. The bandages are for her sunburn. She says she and Jerry came back after Irma and have been sleeping here ever since. We've been here for five, six days. You've been here for six days like this? Since yeah, they just left to they go just in left, today. Yeah. Has anybody come to help? Oh, yeah. There's been people. all kinds of people. All kinds the of people. The owners of the park haven't been around. They, don't, they didn't let they anybody down here. They have haven't seen them. They haven't seen the owners of the park. They they all right, so this is where Jerry and Joy live. Live. Lived. And they're still staying in this house. Are you hanging in? You all right? Oh, okay. we're struggling. Down the road, an organization called Caring for the Keys was handing out the last of this load. We have a car so we can get around. For Jerry and Joy, though, they say they'll pick up ice and yeah, insist they're fine for hard. now. And Jerry and Joy also insist that they do have fresh drinking water, and that is really going to be one of the biggest challenges as people start coming back to the Keys. The lack of drinking water, the lack of electricity in so many places. Cheyenne and Andrew, the Florida Keys in so many parts are far from being fully functional. Unbelievable. And Janine, we know that Broward County and uh, Miami-Dade County Public Schools is reopening tomorrow, but what's the status on Monroe County? The county tells us that they are still trying to devise their plan. They're looking at the status of the uh, electricity. They're looking at the status of the water. Right now, their goal is for September 25th, but that, of course, could change. All right, our own Janine Stanwood reporting live from Key West. Thank you, Janine.